you gotta swap these vehicles around. A lot of his stuff on this cross member right here we're not gonna use anyway, so we'll just go ahead and tear it off after we got this all cleaned up. While that's setting, we'll take and uh, plug up some of these hoses and stuff as well. Brake calipers are still good, otherwise we're just gonna have to replace them for now. These hoses are done anyway, so we're just gonna high glue them shut, keep the moisture out of the calipers. Here, take these off as well. Save these bolts for later. You never know when you're gonna need some bolts. Get it out of our way so we can keep working on all this. Big old beefy nylox. mostly cleaned up so we can actually work with it without getting kinds of nasty on us.
believe that's all this holding the rack on there. There we go, that pops right off. Let's see if we can get these wiggled out. There we go. building with this project. So the goal is to build a reverse trike. In many states this is also known as an auto cycle. Alright so for this originally I was looking to use some Volkswagen suspension off the uh, 1971 prior uh, Beetle just because the suspension up front was a torsion bar suspension it was compact and allows the user to sit as far forward as possible into the wheel section. Um, ultimately, after looking around some more, I found uh, that uh, Mustang 2 suspension is very ver versatile. Same goalie in the center that allows the user or driver to sit forward more than a, a conventional suspension, especially considering we have no motor or anything that's going to get in our way. So I started looking around for some Mustang 2 suspension, and eventually I stumbled across Crown Victoria suspension. And for Crown Victoria suspension, uh, the middle cross member is actually all aluminum. The entire suspension is contained within uh, the cross member section, so everything bolts right up to it. You have your uh, shock springs, uh, hubs, brakes, the entire assembly all in one. And what's nice about it is the entire cross member is all aluminum and it's gonna let us do an entire um, aluminum frame on it built out of the side of it. The cross member, there's two little pillars where we're gonna take and weld the frame directly onto. And it's gonna go all the way back from that, our raised seat area right there. And then for the suspension, originally I added it up that it was gonna be a single spring, but I'm thinking more than likely we're gonna move, us, move two springs out to the outsides and that way uh, we have additional clearance in there and we can take our electric motor controller and put it on the back side of the seat right there. So the motor that we're gonna use for this is gonna be a 12 kilowatt motor. It's a Sciacore, also known as QS hub motor. Um, 12 kilowatts at 96 volts is what I'm planning. As we pan around, you can kind of get an idea of how short it's gonna be overall. So I also already do have the rear swing arm that is gonna accommodate the hub motor right here. Comes off the uh, Ninja 250. So it, it's the exact dimensions of what's required. I'm not planning on putting a disc brake on the back section at all. Uh, the fact that the motor is gonna be able to do some very aggressive regenerative braking is sufficient. And then on the front here, we're going to take and actually change out the steering rack that's currently on there with one that is uh, a center drive. So it's going to be like, probably off like a doom buggy and that's going to go straight into it and allow the, the driver to be directly in line with the steering shaft. Now originally I had mocked this up with uh, four lithium ion battery packs. Uh, however, uh, I was looking at it some more and it looks like I'm going to use some uh, lithium iron phosphates, uh, 120 amps a piece, and there's going to be 30 of them in line for a 96 volt setup. Best thing we can do right now is just get that cross member stripped down and torn apart. That way we can get it all prepped for welding the frame to it.